Question five is on probability and Venn diagrams. We are told that at Razor College are 120 students uh, and they can join the sports club and the music club or um, neither. Now, we are told that there are um, 120 pupils and the probability that they join both clubs is a quarter and the probability that they join the music club is a third. And we're also told that there are 20 students who did not join either club. So with these questions, it's always easiest to start in the, um, in the middle where these two um, overlap. So let's have a look at how we can populate that. So uh, we are told that of the 120, the probability they join both clubs, so that's going to be the, uh, the intersection S and M, is a quarter. So we want to find... Uh, a quarter of 120, which is going to give us 30. So we know there's 30 pupils um, in this intersection here between S and M. We also know that the probability that a randomly selected people join the music club is a third. So to find the number of students, that's going to be a third of uh, 120, which is going to be 40. Now, remember that that means that there are 40 in the entire music club. So bearing in mind there's already 30 in here, that must mean that there are only 10 in uh, this section here. Now, we also know there are 20 students who do not do either, and they are represented here. So in order to work out what goes in this missing section here, that must be the difference between everything we've got here and the total of 120. So uh, if we've got 30 and 30, that's going to give us 60. So therefore, there must be a remaining 60 pupils um, who are in the sports club only. In part B... We're told one of the students who joined the sports club is chosen at random. Find the probability that this student joined both clubs. So in effect here, what we're looking at is conditional probability because we're only interested in now those pupils who are in the sports club. So we can see that there are, in fact, a total of 90 pupils in the sports club. Of those 90, um, there are uh, these 30 here who are also in the music club. So we can take that 30 and put it as our numerator, and that's going to simplify down to one third. The real quiz in this question came to part C, which is to determine whether these uh, whether events S and M, Sports and Music Club, are independent. Now, the key thing here that we're going to have to show is uh, that the probability that a randomly chosen people play sport multiplied by the probability that they play that they are in the music club is the same as the intersection between the two so you need to work out both sides and they should end up with the same value so you can look uh, here the probability that a randomly chosen um, people play sport well let's look at everything in here which is going to be 90 over 120 and multiply that by the probability they play music, which is going to be um, uh, 40 over 120. So we can simplify that down. That's going to be um, 3 quarters times uh, a third, which is going to give us 1 quarter. So on the left-hand side of the equation, uh, we've got a quarter. Now, to look at the right-hand side, the probability of sport and music look at the intersection, so the intersection is going to be 30 pupils, 30 out of a total of 120 is going to equal a quarter. So we've got a quarter on the right hand side, probability of S intersection M, and we've also got a quarter on this side, the probability of sports times probability of music. Because they are the same, we can therefore say that these two events are independent, and that is a question which will catch most people out.